Welcome back guys, I'm Zell, and it's time for another Drinking and Thinking with Zell. Today, it's all about that thwack. <laughs> Alright guys, having a little early morning coffee out of my Kim Perfect mug, which we will talk about soon. On a previous Drinking and Thinking, Brain Ache 555 mentioned that it was all about the sound that the knife made. And you know, I think we don't pay enough attention to that because it really can be about the sound. You know, I've got some knives that are enjoyable to flip and some that aren't. You know, even though the actions on the two knives may be great, it comes down to the sound, that positive engagement of the lock bar. Uh, the positive unlocking and flicking that knife blade back down and it hitting its blade stop and everything being solid. Just makes pleasing sounds. What we're gonna do today is we're just gonna flick some knives around, talk about it a little bit, and you're gonna wanna stick around because there might be a giveaway involved. Anyhow, we're gonna go to a camera down view, look at some knives, flick them around, and see what we think about it. So that thwack. You know, these knives, they make all sorts of different sounds. Some of them are really, really pleasing. Yeah, some of them not so much. But, you know, I find pleasing sounds in many of them. Opening the Sage 5, really nice. Closing it, not so much. You know, some of the better ones. Let's see here. We have the uh, Zan Avispa. Opening the Avispa, and it's got a nice sound to it. A little slow to close. Not much of anything on the close, but and that open is great. Zancudo, same way. Sounds really good when we open it. Not bad on close either. And then there are some, I mean, you have your dragonfly. It's got a nice little snap there when you open it. Nice little snap there when you close it. Not quite as exciting, though, as one that you're flicking or flipping open. You know, and now we even got a CRKT Amicus down here. I see this one. Open, not so good. Close, I like that. It's got a nice sound. And then we have some that are, you know, really good, pleasing. We have your Benchmades. This is a uh, Griptilian and a... Advanced Weapon Technology set of scales. Doesn't make a lot of noise, but the noise, whenever it's accompanied by the action of the knife, is just very, very pleasing. And then, oh, let's see, we got a Protec here. It's got a decent sound to it, but sometimes there are knives that are just wonderful our techno the most ludicrous knife that i've dealt with big old thick blade stock it's crazy but listen nice nice on close do a spidey flick with your left hand and man this thing is just in there but i know most of you are thinking well what about the flippers the flippers are where it's at you know maybe they are but First, we have some of these. Doesn't make as much noise, this little Kaiser sunburst, but it's positive. That sound is just positive when you open it. So, anyhow, let's move along here to the ones that you guys are waiting on. Have the Paramilitary 2, of course. And that one, of course, always makes nice sounds. But it's not the best. Mantra? Pretty good. Uh, let's see. 0, 452, 450, excuse me, ZT. As you can see, I use that one quite a bit. And it has it on sound, open and close. Very nice. Just a nice knife all around. If you're looking for a smaller gentleman's folder, I have a review on this guy, or at least a first look. It's a good one. 
then oh, what else do we have here? We have a flashbang from Kaiser. Surprisingly, I talk right over the sound, but here we go. Very nice open and close. I really like this flashbang. I wish Kaiser would give up on the freaky recurve blades, but sound wise, very nice. And then what do we want to go to? We have some of the Ganzos. Now, this one is slow moving. It's smooth, but slow moving. It doesn't have that nice sound. But still looks pretty nice. And then uh, one of my favorites, the Buck Marksman. And this is another one of those where the sound combined with the action of the knife is just amazing. If you had your hands on this thing, it would just uh, be unreal. And of course, our rats. Rats give off great noises. Good. A good solid snap open. You know, closed. Not much noise there, but that open. Good and solid. And even a Ganzo. This uh, 750 or 7522, or yeah, I think that's what it was, 752. We'll look there on the blade. 752. It's got some good, solid sound to it. So now, here's the deal. See this guy right here? Whenever we did that drinking and thinking, and you guys all kind of voted, and I did some thinking about it, uh, the consensus between me and you guys was... You guys wanted to win this knife. So, here's what you got to do to win it. I'm going to open and close five knives twice. Your job is to identify the rat one. Now, there will be two prizes in this giveaway, so I'm not going to tell you what the other prize is. But if you want to win the rat one, you need to identify the sound that the rat makes. And if you want to win the second prize, if you will, uh, all you've got to do is put I'm in down below, be 18 years of age or older, and have a United States mailing address. So, here we go. I'm going to throw some numbers up on the screen so you can't see which knife I'm flicking and if you get it right you will be entered in the pool that has a chance to win the rat number one and you still want to put I'm in because you might want to get that other prize too anyhow we're gonna get started here's number one Number two. Number three. Number four. And number five. All right. It's up to you to pick which one of those it was. And uh, whenever we do the actual giving away of the knife, uh, prize winners, all that, uh, I'll play this video for you without the cover on it so you can see what was going on. Anyhow, I'm going to kick it back out to the desk and... Uh, We'll finish this up. Alright guys, so besides the contest, I do want to know what you think about knife sounds. You know, is that uh, flick of the 0450 pleasing to you or does it make too much noise? There are some people out there that 
They don't like that. They'll take a uh, spider co like this military because it's nice and quiet. You can open it up really slow, not make a lot of noise. You know, what's your opinion? I see the advantages in both. If I'm gonna be doing something and fidgeting with the knife, I would rather have something that has some pleasing sounds. You know, if I was in a situation where I needed to be somewhat quiet and I had brought uh, this Kaiser Flashbang, uh, it would be kind of a bad day. I mean, you can open it quietly, but it's definitely not as easy to open quietly as, say, this Sage 5. So, I see the application for both, but in your everyday life, what's important to you? You know, let's talk about it down in the comments. And as far as the contest goes, number one through five, which one was the Ontario Rat Model 1? The uh, Rosewood model that uh, I put scales on in D2. Uh, make your guess down below. And out of that pool of guessers, whomever uh, guess right will be put in a list and we'll draw it out of a hat or an ammo box or a cup or something. Anyhow, somebody's going to win the rat with the rosewood scales that way. And don't forget to put I'm in down there too because that's what gets you in to win the, the other prize, which we'll talk about here in about a week. And remember, 18 years of age or older, and you need to have a U.S. mailing address to enter the contest. So, and be subscribed, of course, because I will be checking that. If you're not subscribed, whenever your name pops up, sorry. So, because I do this for you guys, for the guys that are watching these. That's one reason some of the contests have moved to these drinking and thinking videos, because you guys that are watching every video are watching these. Anyhow, I really appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to leave your comments about the thwacking down below. And I am working on those Todd Knife and Tool Knives. I've had a couple of setbacks, and I apologize for that. I was really hoping to get the contest going and have at least one of those knives out by Christmas. I'm not sure if that's going to happen, but I am working towards it. So hopefully we'll be able to do that. If not, you know, it'll be a New Year's thing. Anyhow, I really appreciate you stopping by. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe here and over at Todd Knife and Tool. And you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.